I'm Billy Harris, you're hanging with Harris. We're at Viviana in downtown Los Angeles, my good friend Neil Frazier. How are you, Neil? I'm good, I'm hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. I am. Before we talk about you, where am I right now? It, it is amazing. You're in the former Catholic Cathedral in downtown Los Angeles. You would never know where you are, but you're on the corner of 2nd and Main. Now you're an LA guy, right? I am, born and raised. Born and raised. Culinary right school on my guy? Sleeve. I went to CIA. You did? Did that whole game. Yeah. Graduated in 92, moved back to Los Angeles, had a kid very young named Grace, and uh... Wait a minute, a kid named Grace, and you had a fabulous restaurant I named did. Grace. Yeah, I named after the same girl. So after CIA, before you come in LA, and before Grace and all of that, where were you in between all that? I am curious. I, I, um, I know it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, I mean, you know? I, my first job was at a restaurant called Coyote in Laurel Canyon. Literally, like, moved back home uh, Wasn't from Coyote San Francisco. Wasn't Coyote where Pache is now, right yeah. in Laurel Canyon, where the Yeah, the guy is? invented the California pizza. He was the opening pe uh, pizza chef at Spago. Do you think you have a particular style? Is there a chef style? I mean, I call what I cook new American, but yeah. you know, I try to take unique ingredients and you know, give them some, you know, some cred. It's more uh, finding great product, great marriages, you know, with great wine and great ambience and great service. I'd love for you to cook a little something for me, a little Let's demo. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we'll see you real soon. All right. Neil, we're in the kitchen, grass-fed Wagyu. What's the deal? We are. Wagyu beef, originally from Japan. Wagyu is the, the breed, the blood strain. Okay. Uh, this is uh, farm-raised stuff from New Zealand, and it's not fattened at all with anything other than grass. So we're gonna open up the, the bag. Explain that to me again. It's a, the it's blood a, It's strain. a blood strain. So if you ever, you know, if you're in the United States and people say you're serving Kobe beef, they're not. They're it's not. E it's illegal to import uh, beef from Kobe, Japan. You can get Wagyu from Japan. Okay. You can't get Wagyu from Kobe because the slaughterhouse is not approved to export to the United States. All right, we're gonna put this in a dry pan. Right, salt, pepper, a little cast iron. Really has enough fat on there to... That was my next question, because there's enough yeah. fat on the steak, you don't need oil and dump yeah, all Yeah, I think we should there. be all right. We're also gonna cook the mushrooms in that fat. We're gonna take some cauliflower, make a cauliflower puree. Okay. So just for the sake of time, I'm gonna cut this relatively small. Yep, sure. I think if I had more time, I'd probably... Uh, <laughs> You can take a little more time. Now we're I'm saying if I had more time to cook it, I'd probably let it, you know, cook, put it in a bag and let it cook sous vide for right, sous -vide. a couple hours so I don't lose any of the flavor and then... Uh... Now is that what happens? Because when you're, when, you're, when you're sous vide and you're keeping that perfect temperature right. right now, do you lose flavor right well, away? Well, yeah, I mean, basically the water is gonna capture some of that cauliflower flavor. Got it. So yeah. we're gonna throw the cauliflower in some right. boiling salted water. Right, you're already getting a little fat super from nice. it, which is yeah. great. It's a little caramelized, right? Get nice color. It's amazing. Turn that over. All right, so cauliflower's in water, steak's getting seared. We yep. have a little red wine sauce. A little red sauce. wine sauce I made a couple days ahead of time. Okay. And then just for, you know, a nice garnish, I love to uh, just cut mushrooms in half and just score them. And then kind of the whole idea is that this is gonna be, you know, kind of part of the garnish. So you're gonna see those, those slices. Okay, and then what happens? I just put them face side down in the, in the pan. Boom. All right, once again, mushrooms, cauliflower, red wine, steak doing its thing. So all that fat that's kind of rendering off that steak is yeah. being picked up by that mushroom, hopefully give a little, little bit a of little flavor. A little steak fat into that mushroom, yeah, nothing green about that. No. At all. So the cauliflower, I'm just cooking until it's soft. I mean, the whole idea is to make a nice, silky, beautiful puree. So it's ready to go, I'm just gonna let that rest over here. And is that one of the most important things about cook? I mean, it's the whole resting thing. You know, the, the whole thing about sous vide that works is you're kind of resting as you're cooking it. When you put something in a 500 degree oven, the molecules are going like this. Because it's so hot. It's, it, it's, they're boiling. Right, you know? they're boiling. They're, 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 you know, they're so puncturing So it just needs the... to come back down to earth and go, give me a moment. Yeah, when you cook something slow, it's like, you know, it's kind of slower. Right, so sous vide is at that perfect yeah, it's temperature. it's less broken This down. needs time to rest from the Absolutely. Thing. All water's going in with it too, or is it? Uh... Uh, we're gonna save a little bit of the water, the rest we're gonna kinda get rid of. Okay. Pan is hot. Yep. Maybe a little less water. Okay. Mm. Cauliflower soup. Yep, we can make that for the next episode. And then we're gonna put that on there. We're not gonna start it yet. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of uh... What do they call that? Montequilla. Also known as butter. Yeah, Dubert. That's maybe a little thinner than I'd normally make it, but. It's kind of, you know, it's a cross between a sauce and a yeah, vegetable. I'm gonna put a little bit of this underneath our steak. And then we're gonna... And now this. Slice this Look baby at that. up. Perfection on a plate. It's a little perfectly medium rare action on that puree. See, but that's simple plus 24 years, right? Simple plus 24 years. And then we're gonna take our... Take uh, our shrooms. Our shrooms. Yep. We are Viviana. Put those around. Amazing. Get a little bit of uh, 
color. For sure. Nothing better than steak and uh, micro mustard greens. But it doesn't need much. But see, but you know what? That's going to add another little layer of flavor, yeah. especially with the mustard, right? I forgot that we actually have the red wine sauce going yeah. over the, all this. Does it there, need much there more? There you go. New Zealand Wagyu beef, a little cauliflower puree, a little red wine Roasted sauce. mushrooms and some micro mustard greens. It's so good. Like, it really is good. Thank you. It's delicious. All right, well, Neil, we're at Viviana. We got BLD. We got a new restaurant open. We got Strand Redbird. House. Strand Redbird. House. Redbird here. It's I exciting. See, see. BLD LAX. Fritzy Dog. Fritzy Dog. There's a lot going on. It's been a pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. hanging with Harris. We'll My see you pleasure. Soon.